We have a lot of uh, interesting inverts in our facility. Some can be kept with your corals and what we would call them as reef safe. But we also have some interesting mantis shrimp, blue lobsters, red lobsters, which are not reef safe, meaning they could harm some of the uh, corals or some of the invertebrates. So many people are so afraid to buy a coral and they feel like, oh, it, it's even harder to keep alive than a, than a marine fish. And what I try to explain to people is keeping corals is the same as keeping freshwater fish or keeping marine fish. Some are so easy to take care of and some are extremely delicate. And that's the nice thing at our warehouse is we try to explain to customers which ones are going to be easy to start out with and which ones are more for the advanced hobbyists and the ones that need more light. So we offer everything to the consumer. We offer the, the most hardy fish all the way to the most delicate fish. An interesting thing about the marine fish is you want to buy fish that are colorful and beautiful and you add a collection of very colorful fish to your aquarium and then also there become a lot of fish that you start to look at that have unique shapes particular fish that have unusual behaviors and what happens is most times most hobbyists uh, one of the more unusual looking fish or, or it's not the most colorful fish becomes one of their favorite fish in their aquarium because of the characteristics and, and its behavior more so than the color of the beauty of the fish. The porcupine puffer is not one of the most beautiful fish out there, but because of their personality and the way they swim up to the glass and, and let you feed them and actually hand feed them, some of them become almost pets to people more so than just fish swimming around an aquarium in their home. With the freshwater fish, we try to offer a really large variety of unique, unusual, and hard to find tropical fish. My challenge is to constantly bring in new species, species of fish people have looked at, read about online, and are fascinating with, but can't find at your local pet store. And this is our specialty to try to carry as many varieties as we can but we're constantly searching, I'm constantly looking for new items and rare items. We listen to customer suggestions of particular items they're looking for and we try to obtain them. And uh, we're always rotating our stock and trying to keep as many different varieties as possible. Mm -hmm.